which aircraft did they build at Woodford? The name Woodford Aerodrome resonates with aviation history. It was here, amidst the roar of engines and the clang of metal, that the legendary Avro Lancaster bomber took shape, playing a pivotal role in World War II. Later, Woodford echoed with the distinctive howl of the Avro Vulcan, a Cold War icon and symbol of Britain's nuclear deterrent. From the Shackleton patrol aircraft to experimental designs, Woodford was a cradle of British aviation innovation, but the silence has fallen. Woodford, like other airfields such as Samlesbury, has now been closed. On the upside, there's a nice pub on the site that does really good pies. The loss of these airfields raises a critical question. What is the cost to Britain's aviation future? These aren't just empty fields, they are repositories of engineering knowledge, test beds for innovation, and often the heart of local aerospace communities. Their disappearance raises concerns about skills drain and the potential stifling of future aerospace advancements. What are your thoughts? Should the UK government work more to protect airfields such as Woodford?